Hello dears, welcome to my channel. Enjoy watching and don't forget to subscribe. Hello loves, in today's video, I will be sharing with you how I usually uh, do my anchored video in my YouTube channel. So, I just want to share with you guys, especially for the beginners like me who wants to have this um, end card video. So, for the beginners, I will suggest to use a window, the Windows Movie Maker because for me, it is the easiest editor, especially for the beginners. So, if you want to uh, if you want to know how I do my end card video, please keep on watching. Okay, so guys, my end card video is like this. So let's play it. All right, there. And if you want an audio, you can also put it. I don't know if you're hearing it. But there's an audio. And then while playing while playing that video, that end card video, you can also put um, any music that you want in the background. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so guys, the first thing that you need to do is to just search for any background that you want. Okay, so any background will do as long as it is um, 1920 by 1080. Okay, so no. let's say you want this um, background. Uh, what? Um, okay, let's try this. Or I will just use uh, the background of my and for the video. Oops. So just right click and then save and then put any file name that you want. Okay. <laughs> okay, so after putting um uh, or after choosing what background do you want, you okay so Okay, so after saving the background that you want, guys, or I want, I usually um, edit edit in photojet.com or in pigmonkey.com. So, I also edit my thumbnails in these sites because they are the best. Oops! Okay, so let's choose the pigmonkey.com. Click edit computer and then um, find where you save the background that you want. Alright, there. And then let's resize it. Let's resize the back. And check the keep proportions. And then change it to 1920. by 1080 there so it will fit um, the YouTube video okay so after resizing let's go to the text okay so you can choose any font style that you want so I think I will choose this sleek gothic and then add text okay and then type um, for example I will just type thanks for watching alright so there and then I will just put it here 
So for example, I would just put it here and then you can resize it. You can change the color that you want. You can um, resize their blend modes here that you can uh, darken it. You can lighten. What else? Green, etc. So let's go to the normal one. Alright, so there. Um, I think I will choose the yellow one. Just make it bigger. Alright, so there. And then, and then as you can see, there are two boxes here. So, what I am gonna do, what I'm gonna do is. Okay, so after that, let's go to the overlays and then click geometric and then we can now choose um, I think this one the rectangle one right there and then let's place it here you can choose any size that you want guys and you can also you can own also have just one box if you want but I prefer two so I will just create two boxes okay there So after creating the boxes, um, after creating the boxes, we can now choose what color we want. Okay, there. And then this one will make it purple. Okay, there. So after that, uh, let's go now to the text video. And then, as you can see here, I do have the previous video and then the subscribe, um, subscribe photo. So, I will choose this, um, what font style? Any fonts, font style that you want. I think I'll choose this one. And then add text. And let's put it above here. And then I'll just type previous video. You can, um, again, you can also change, um, change the color of the text. But I think I prefer the let's make it black. Okay, and then I will type again another one and add text. I'll put it above the second box and also type it previews. <coughs> Reviews video. Okay, so after that, I will now search for the subscribe button picture. So just uh, search subscribe.png. Can you, you can choose what picture you wanna um, put in your end part. So 
after choosing that you just go to the overlays and then add your own <coughs> excuse me and then find where you save it uh, there okay then there then I will put it between those stacks and resize it So there, and then after that, as you can see, I do have those uh, social media accounts that I have. The Instagram, the uh, Facebook, and Snapchat. So what I'll do again is to search... <coughs> is to search the Instagram um, photo that I want so instagram.png and then choose any pic that you want again and then just type facebook.png snapchat that snapchat.png okay and then just save it okay so just save it and then after saving it, you can just go again here in the overlays and then add your own and then find the Instagram photo that you save, resize it, and then I will just put it here. You can put it kahit saan yung gustong ilagay to. Um, I just say I want to put it here. And then, I'll just go to the text. And then, I think, I will go to this font style. Add text. <coughs> and then, I will just click it and add my Instagram account. Okay. And resize it. right there then after that go again to the overlays and then choose the Facebook photo that you want okay there okay and then resize it again and then put your Go to text Add text Put your FB account here Facebook.com slash Okay there And of course we will resize it <coughs> Okay And then after that, oops, okay, and then after that, go to the overlays again, and then choose the Snapchat photo that you want. If you have a Twitter, you can also add your Twitter here. Just um, search twitter.png for the photo. Okay, so let's resize it and then go to text again. Choose the font that you want, add text, and then type your Snapchat. Uh, okay. Okay, so there. And then I want to, as you can see, my entered video as a photo. 
a picture of mine in the between the boxes so I will go to the overlays again and then add your own and then I will find or I will choose the picture that I want to put there um where's that pot can see it okay um for example i want to okay i find it i found it okay so just click overlays and then add your own um what else okay for example that is my photo i will just resize it so that it will fit the space between my between the boxes it's up to you guys if you want to put any pictures but I want I want to put my pictures my picture here <laughs> okay just say that's fine. Okay, so there you go. <coughs> so, um, that's all for my end card. And you can also add as well um like button if you want guys just research um oops not the, not that one just research um what do you call this like that png and then there i want to put it um here at the right top corner of the end card you can also put it at the, right, the bottom right part okay you can also put it here but i want to put it there okay so that's all so after that we will now save it save it save it save it save it okay i will choose the high resolution and then save to my computer and then just rename it to end card and then save all right so there you go masterpiece save okay so after that guys what i do is i will open my powerpoint so as you can notice the um end card video that i edited don't have a video yet so i will create a video using the powerpoint presentation so just choose blank presentation and then click insert <coughs> pictures and then find where you saved the end card photo. Oh, uh, where is it? <laughs> okay, so there. Make sure that it will be right there. And then just click the first box, like it, right there. And then click insert again insert and then video video on my pc and then just find any video or your previous video like for example my previous video is <clears throat> this one i will just click it or open it and then resize it so that it will fit the first box right there and 
and as you can see you can um, remove the audio if you want and then add any background music that you want later or you can also um, just put the audio of your previous video <coughs> then after that let's click the second box insert and then video and then let's go again to video on my PC and choose another video on my previous vlog I think I will choose this one Then I will resize it again to feed the box right there. I will okay and then click it and click playback trim video. Alright, and then we will trim the video. Okay, there. Alright, and then after that, we will now save it and create a video. So, click File, and then Export, choose Create Video, and then Create Video again, and then save it where you want to put it. I will save it um, here. And then just um, just wait until the video presentation is done okay so and then it is done so let's just click the X the close button and then save and then save it again Alright, so we're done now with the um, PowerPoint presentation. So let's go now to the... Okay, so the last thing that we need to do is to um, just make sure that the anchor video that we have is playing. So now we will just open the Windows Movie Maker and then let's see if it's working. So just click the File button. And then click open project and um, find the location where you save the entered video. Or if you want, you can just drag the entered video into the... Um, okay, so you can just drag the entered video that you want to the Windows Movie Maker. And then there... Let's see if it's playing. Okay, so it's playing, right? And um, you can also add uh, any background music into that entered video while it is playing. So just click the add music, um, add music to the project, and then choose any music that you want. So there, so there you go, guys. I hope that I help you okay so there you go guys so thank you for watching and I hope to see you on my next video goodbye